Smart technology is really all about doing big things with very, very small things. So at the nano scale, you get properties that you don't have at the regular scale. And the idea is to utilize those special properties in materials and devices that we use every day. Well, I just spoke about lithium-ion batteries. This is one huge opportunity, which is um, near-term lithium batteries exist today and nanomaterials can make them uh, more efficient um, so your electrical car can go a longer way without charging or it can charge faster. These are all real, real opportunities which are happening because of nanomaterials. I think the big opportunities in the future is going to be with energy. Energy is the number one thing that we all need regardless of where we're from and what we intend to do. We all need energy to solve wars, we need energy to make drugs, we need energy to clean water. So whatever other problem you think you have, you need energy to solve that problem. Um, the opportunity is massive. We're now spanning out into battery technology um, and how we're able to use nanomaterials specifically to create a truly um, efficient, renewable, non-volatile, battery that could essentially power you know a mobile device as small as that or, or smaller than that a smartwatch or, or something even smaller all the way up to electric vehicles and, and what it means for that for that industry the big challenges at the moment are actually in manufacturing and processing materials so actually getting the surface functionality getting these materials small enough so that they give you some enhanced functionality is a real challenge as soon as materials get bigger then you lose surface area, you lose various um, aspects of the way the material can perform. So the real challenge is making these materials and then getting them into a, a device or a product or some way that you can then access the, uh, the high surface area and small particle size. Uh, the targets that we are setting ourselves, for example, reduction of the use of energy, uh, can be offered and delivered by the use of nanomaterials and nanotechnology. We were able to uh, develop a process that can take uh, natural gas like methane uh, that is not used except maybe for making electricity in some cases, but in most of the cases not really being used, and turning this uh, resource, waste resource, gas, into graphene. I think this is fundamental, right? I, uh, you know, this is at the core of, of um, development it's a, at the core of partnerships, being able to be part of these events and meet people, like-minded people that are researching different areas that might be able to give you a different perspective. Uh, but not only that, it's you know form partnerships that are commercial strategies that could potentially help you get to the next stage. Um, and I think yeah, the, the, these are critical. Um, and, and the more the more of them that we can be a part of, that you know, I think the better we're going to be able to do as as a society. Without that connectivity piece, which this type of event brings, is essential to ensuring the UK can compete in the global marketplace. So we need to have push and pull. So as scientists in a university, we, we like to get on with our work, but really we need to be speaking to end users and, and, and finding ways to, to get a pull of our technology as well as pushing it into commerce.